Now we're um, going to have a look at some different areas to do with chords. Um, previously we looked at just the basic G, C, D, E minor, basic chords in, in the key of G. Um, but one thing that I think is quite important sometimes is to understand a little bit more about the chords. So, I don't know for you guys out there think, but most people when they learn chords, they learn from their pals or from the internet or from a, you know, a group or something or whatever. Um, when you learn chords, you don't normally learn them in groups, you learn them just randomly and then put them in songs. Um, the way I looked at chords before was to do them in a group um, in the key of G. So the four chords, G, C, D <coughs> and E minor were basically in the key of G and they work for most songs in the key of G. Um, the other thing which I didn't really know about when I was learning chords was anything to do with how they were made up or what the background to the chord is or why it is what it is, if it was a seventh chord or a minor chord or or a major seventh chord, I never really understood that. And um, one thing that I realised is the more you understand about chords and the sound of them and how they feature in music, you know, certain types of chords work in certain types of music, for example, it helps if you understand a little bit about how they're, they're made up. So, if we play a C chord, for example, which is pretty straightforward, um, now, if you know a C chord, that's great. You learn it, you copy the shape, fantastic. Most people, I'm assuming, maybe don't know the notes that are underneath your fingers. And I certainly didn't when I was learning chords to start with. But I think it's quite important to know this. And the reason for that is that we can then change the chord to something else by knowing the notes under our fingers and what happens if we change them around a little bit. So rather than every time you want to do a new chord, you just find it somewhere or get someone to show you it, it sort of helps if you can work them out yourself or you have a bit of an idea how to do it yourself. So most people, for example, maybe aren't sure about the difference between um, a seventh chord and a major seventh chord, uh, a ninth chord or an add ninth chord. These are all quite different, but in a lot of ways quite simple if you know how they're constructed. So if we start with a C chord and we say okay I want to play C6. Now how do we do that? Well we could look it up obviously um, or we can figure it out. So the way to figure it out is to figure out it's a C6 so we're going to need the sixth note in a C scale because this is a C chord. So if you count up C, D, E, F, G, A a is your sixth note. Now, at this point, it's going to be tricky if you don't know the names of the notes on the guitar. So, I've got a, a little series of articles on this, which are available in PDF. Um, they'll either be on my YouTube channel or available to download somewhere or I can email it to you or whatever. But it explains this in a bit of detail and also has a little diagram <coughs> with all the notes in the first position. Now, if you don't remember them, or you're not sure, or you've never done it before, it doesn't really matter, you can just use that as a guide. So, there's two ways, we can look at the, if you look at the diagram, it will show you that A on the guitar is there. Okay, now, the other way to find it is if you knew a C scale, you could count up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you would get to that same note. So basically, the A note that we're looking for here, it's the second fret on the third string, and that's A. So to play C6, we need to add that note, A, to the C chord. So if we go back to our C chord, the only way we can really add that extra note is if we bring the third finger round to the A, the new note that we're going to use, and you bring your little finger, your fourth finger, pinky, round to where your third finger was on C. Now that chord is going to be C6. Okay? Now, another thing that's quite useful is visually, we can look at that and say, um, if I take my little finger off, that's A minor. And 
at C6. So in other words, C6 and A minor must be very closely related because they're almost the same chord, pretty much. That's only important in terms of visually it's useful. And I think on guitar, we're quite lucky because the guitar is not um, a huge instrument. We can see everything pretty clearly on the guitar. And if we're moving shapes, we can see shapes that move, we can remember shapes, and we can also see, in this case, a shape that maybe looks like something we already know. And if you already know an A minor chord, then you're pretty much most of the way there to play in a C6 chord. The point being that maybe you didn't realise these things were related, um, and that's quite important. So if we can, the more uh, things we can put together when we're trying to figure out chords, the better. So if we can look at that and say, okay, C6, work it out, C, D, E, F, G, A, we need an A note, we find the A note either by using the diagram on the PDF or counting up if you know the C scale, um, and then we figure out the best way to finger that, which would be that, I think, and then that's us got our chord. And at the same time, maybe just note that it looks like an A minor chord as well, and just bear that in mind, because an A minor and C6 must also, at some point in the future, um, it must be handy to know that because those two things are sort of interchangeable, I think. So, that's taking a basic C chord, and all we're doing is, one play C6, we find the A note, which is there, we add that to the chord, and we've got C6. And like I say, this is explained in a bit more detail on, on the PDF. It's a series of, uh, I think, 12 um, uh, sort of... Uh, episodes, if you like, in a magazine, or features in a magazine, and it goes from this point straight through to more complicated chords, but I'll just do a short bit on each of them, because obviously you'll have the PDF that you can have a look at as well.